Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? I'm Mariah and today we're going to be painting this 14 inch round canvas. So let's get into it. Today's painting is actually a commission for my friend. Um, she wanted something that looked like the moon. She actually saw my previous painting. I just happened to have it on the table over there. Blue moon. This is a little 8 inch so you can see it's definitely much, the 14 inch is much larger. So um, she doesn't want a blue though, she wants like a regular moon, silver, gray, white, and like a, a twinge of yellow. I made a mini one because I was, um, it's still wet so I'm not going to touch it. I would show you but you'll see it on my Instagram. Um, I made a mini one just to practice, make sure, but it looks good to me, I'm really excited about it. When she told me about this idea for the moon, I was like, why didn't I think of that? Um, the blue moon kind of happened by accident. When it dried, I was like, oh, that looks like a moon. But I really like the idea. so. That's kind of also why I made a smaller tester when I figured like, oh, these are kind of cool. People might like them. So I hope that you do. Um, and I hope that she likes this one. I bought a lot more of these large round canvases. I just think they'd look cool. The back is kind of a pain to tape just because you can't really paint it in a circle or tape it in a circle. <laughs> but um, they're a lot of fun. So I can't wait to see how it comes out. Fingers crossed and let's get started. So to start, we are going to use a dark gray base and we're going to cover uh, most of the canvas. That should be good. I've been practicing using more paint because you all know if you've seen my previous videos that sometimes I can put a little bit, not enough paint on the canvas. Um, so this gray has really been helping me to kick that habit. All right, so to get the moon effect, we're gonna do an open cup pour. I love doing open cup pours. It's one of my favorite styles. It just creates really cool cells, um, often looks kind of galactic, and I really like that outer space kind of look. That's really actually what got me interested in this type of artwork. So no wonder I'm drawn to making them myself. <laughs> so um, on top of this gray base, we are gonna put our open cup. And then this one's pretty simple. It's just a few colors. I'm gonna do, um, I made this, this light yellow, very pale yellow for the moon. I'm going to put regular white in there too and also silver to give it that shine. But yeah, not that many colors today. So next, after the base, we are going to put this light yellow pale moonlight color in. And I'm just going to do little swirlies. I'll probably end up layering these. So I'm going to do some of that, but I'm saving some. I'm going to put the white in next. And I don't want to do too much white. I definitely want the pale yellow to be more prominent, but I'm going to do a little bit of the regular white and just kind of swoosh it around. Cool, cool. Now we'll do some silver. I do want a good amount of silver in there so put a healthy bit and then I am gonna go back in with this pale yellow to finish it off actually I'm gonna put a little more dark gray I think it'll give a good contrast So I added a little more dark gray just to kind of give it some contrast before I go back in for that final yellow. All right. And the cup is starting to move, which I love when that happens. It's so exciting. Um, so I'm going to kind of let it come out a little bit and then just kind of swirl it around. I never know what to do with this, <laughs> trying to get the paint off of it because <laughs> it'll just make a mess on the table anyway. All right, and now let's torch it. You can already see the cells popping up. So even though I kind of swiped over the top of the, the opening, I swiped over it to give it the look that I want and I can already see the cells popping out. Actually, I forgot to mention it in my last video, but I realized it after the fact. The gray that I use, this base, 
because it's made up of all these other colors together, there was one week where I was experimenting with silicone. I really don't use it that much, but it is good for making cells appear. So I guess I'll make a mental note for my moon paintings. I probably do want silicone, but that's what's also. Last week I couldn't figure out why there were so many. I was wondering if it was just the open cup technique, which also has produced a lot of cells for me, um, or I thought it might've been the mixture of different brands of paint together, but the silicone definitely plays a factor, so. Now when we torch it, we'll pop the air bubbles and um, any more cells will probably come through. It's probably hard to see from the distance, but I did see some kind of pop up underneath. All right, the moment of truth, let's get to tilting. I'm gonna come on this left side first because there's like not as much stuff going on. Um, but I will try to kind of swoop it out evenly if I can. I do feel like it's, um, I don't waste as much paint over the edges with the round canvas. I have noticed that, which I like more, like with the rectangles or squares, it's hard to get the corners, but with this, there's no corners. So it's actually really a lot easier to spread out the design um, without losing too much good stuff. Um, and just kind of keeping, if you want your original design that you laid down. With this one, it doesn't really matter, but for other types of pores, it could matter. Hmm. I do want it a little bit over the edges though because I want those edges painted. So I'm just going to go over slightly. These ones are good. I think we're pretty much all good. Now I'm just going to set it down and take a look at this composition. I think it looks cool. I think it looks really cool. I hope she loves it. This was a fast one. It was really kind of easy, easier than some of my other paintings. So I'm gonna touch up the edges and I will see you in a couple minutes. Well, you guys, this one was really quick, but um, I mean, I got the result that I wanted. I really like the way that it looks. I'm gonna take a photo, even though it's wet and it could dry a little differently. Um, it, it will dry differently, especially because of the metallics. You can't really see the metallics as well. Um, I'm not quite sure which parts of this will shine. But I'll definitely insert a photo when it's dry so you can see the finished result. I will still send a photo to the client just to make sure it's in the ballpark of what she wants and then I'll send another once it's dry and then I'll ship her out. Well, after I varnish. <laughs> There's actually a lot of steps. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, please share, comment, all that stuff. It really helps me out and I appreciate it so much. Um, I'll see you next time.